Okay, well, let me get out of the sunlight a little bit here. We got a lot of that in Florida. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is called try number two for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. My good friend, Jeff Arnfield, challenged me to this actually last week. I know it's a 24 hour deal, but this is the first chance I've had to make good on it. <clears throat> and uh, so first off, I wanna say that I'm going to now in turn challenge my daughter, Tanya Nowicki, and I'm going to challenge George Chavez and Carl Canestrano. And we're actually doing this in honor of my wife's um, dear uncle, Harvey, who passed away from ALS a few years back. And uh, just, to, just to show what we attempted to do yesterday, we tried to get a little bit too cute. So uh, yesterday's challenge uh, attempt involved <clears throat> It involved this bucket that was affixed to that post that you can see up there and it was going to be actuated by this device on a string that was in turn going to be lifted up by an unmanned aerial vehicle and uh, my wife Linda very wisely decided that that was probably a bad idea so what we're gonna do is just go ahead do the traditional thing We've got the bucket of ice water here, so here goes. And here we go. Whew. And of course, the Florida version of the ice water challenge is to follow it up with a quick dip. Okay, so this is the part of the video where we share what didn't go right. So the original design, as you can see the bucket that's affixed to the post, you may be able to see in there a little yellow string, that is attached to the bottom of an unmanned aerial vehicle, a UAV. And the way that the design is supposed to work is that the UAV flies up, pulls a string that releases the lever that releases the bucket that dumps the bucket onto the head of your ALS challenge G. We actually had a successful test flight. So as you can see here, the UAV is going aloft. You'll see the string tension. Pull up the lever and release the bucket. which sounds great until you realize that if you're holding the radio controller at the time that that bucket releases, you're going to have a potential rogue UAV flying around and you could end up on the news for all the wrong reasons. So my wife Linda very capably pointed out that that was probably a bad idea. And so we decided that we would go ahead and just do this manually with Linda on the line Attempt number one sadly did not work because and I'm ready. the clamp that was holding the bucket was in the way. So we threw the line over to the other side, imagining that that would be more successful. And as she hauls away, in fact, the bucket did come down completely, but not in the way that we expected. Thanks again for your support for this cause and any other causes that you support. It's truly appreciated.